All right, well, I had to attempt to uh, load this onto the trailer. I'm gonna try with that little trailer because it's got like a, like I mean, it's, a, it's not two ramps, it's one big ramp, right? So hopefully, I don't know, show some 1B7s under it or something. Like that. I think it's only 4,800 pounds, but I really don't think it's going to uh, just drive itself up here. So, get the winchapini out. But we'll get it over here first and give her an attempt, right? Give her the old Inwood, how you doing? Probably. And we'll be even set you up. Probably. Buds. respected. Just as nice respected, boys. We smidged her. A little bit of a smidge of peony tech on that, so that's good. And we'll get the winch out and haul her on there, I suppose. Some dick's buying a Dodge bumper. They said he cut a chunk off the trailer hitch. Good lane works too.
Mm-hmm. No question. And she's way too forward to little oh shit, I gotta pump up the tires. Good fucking lard. Look at my trailer. Just devastated it boys. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no wood wood was a little bit shab shabapini anyways, but good lord. Oh I need to fix my friggin' trailer. No good. But uh should fucking take off here. A couple guys in the back getting parts. But I gotta go, so here we go. Groundhog's Day. Hmm? Feels like some type of the Groundhog's Day today. Happy? Well, it's too dark to even get the shot last night. Like, it still gets dark at like 3.45.
in the afternoon, so sold this two bad years ago, I guess. I don't know. I kind of remember it, but also kind of don't. I've had a few of them. But, uh, I'll bring a skid steer in the shop today, boys. See what happens. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Movies. Movies. Yeah. That black box was on it before. Oh, okay. And I took the bed off of that truck. Huh. So this. how this truck comes here like? Tow truck. Tow truck guy? Careful muddy. Yeah. You wore your Tommy's to Inwood. Hey, okay. not supposed to do that. I'll grab my bucket here. I just didn't want. Oh, so oh. you would have moved axle. See, that would have been on the ground. Yeah. No good. On the ground, no good. Gotta try to get me a rig like that one day. The key one time, eh? I apologize. Look at them go, boys. Just slid her right in there. They slid her right in there like Vince McMahon. Good lord, I guess he slid her out, didn't he? I apologize. Dirty f***ing bastard. Good lord, imagine partying with that guy. I thought partying with Diddy was no good. Imagine partying with McMahon. I can ask this guy if he's ever partied with McMahon. Hey, you ever party with McMahon? Hey, we you party, party with McMahon? No? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's f***ed up, eh? Yeah. McMahon? Good f***ing lard. What a dirty bastard. I thought partying with Diddy was bad, eh? Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, man. You know Diddy? Yeah. So if I can make a turn over there, right? If I put, I'm just I don't want to stop over there. No. So where you put these movies on YouTube? The internet, yeah. I don't want to go on internet. You don't want to go on the internet? No, no, no. My truck. You're you gonna can. be a star, buddy. No, I don't want to. Why? I'm Do your curtsy, like hey? Do your curtsy. I'm uh, okay like this. Classy fella, classy fella. All right, well, uh, we'll get her set up here. He's not, he's not a big fan of the movies, I guess. You know what I mean? She looks good with that flat pad on her, though. I was going to cut the box off it, but I'm glad I didn't because he already, he already under-cigarated me. I told him the price and he wanted to compromise. It's like, oh, uh, that's, that's not how it works, buddy. You want work done, I do work, I tell you price, you start telling me who would be better on the price. So, Nope, call a tow truck. <laughs> Give me my money, call a tow truck. Tells me times are tough and shit. Yep, I'm living in the same world, bud. I guess that's her, boys. It's freezing cold. 
and I quit and I got to uh, move a couple things around. So I got you for golf, what happened? Well, I got them all washed up there like a brand new machine. Hey, pretty right. So we'll uh, do a little how you doing, check a couple things, make sure everything's copacetic. And uh, see so this room here is bent. That rod's bent, but they're both, both the rods are chipolini so either way we're gonna have to take it apart that one I might just leave because it's not bent and it's only a little chipolini so we'll have to deal with that at a latter date but for now this one's bent no good and it's so bent that it's like you know dick the seals so I'll have to get seal kit and uh, I don't know maybe go see the metal dicks and have them cut us a length of shaft and we'll have to cut the end off that, weld that back onto there and figure out what the other end is and make it the same and then, uh, I don't know, probably be cheaper that way than to send it off to hydraulic decks probably. But uh, anyways boys, that's the next project on the table there, so friggin' nice for that. Oh, and I'm going to make a mailbox for the stink truck guy. So we're making like a heavy duty one. He had some sort of a mishap or something. The, these old ones over here got a little friggin' crinkled. Got a little bit, got a little bit crinkled. So yeah, we'll make one that's uh, uncrinkleable. Hey, okay, I apologize, but anyways, can't go.